I think digital content models are persistently evolving. So what works today is great, but probably won't tomorrow. And I think that's because we are all in some large measure at the whim of Google and Facebook right now. And I don't know how long that will last. You either need a great deal of scale to make it pay if you've got a free model, or you need to have really exclusive proprietary information that you can charge for. And the difficulty for, for many publishers is there isn't really a middle ground. There's one trend that we've seen in the last year or two that really fires us up. It's this idea of new brands emerging, that we're creating brands, not just websites, but brands that a new generation of audience connect with. I don't think the future is video, but I think video is very much part of the future. How can we actually build real audience around video? And I think that's a bigger challenge than just creating video. And there's no question video is going to be uh, an important revenue stream, but there is no one revenue stream that you can rely on as being a silver bullet. Increasingly, we're finding um, that advertisers do want to have a bit of everything, a bit of mobile, a bit of native, a bit of video, a bit of display. I think if there was one way that worked, we would all be doing the same thing, but there isn't, there hasn't yet been something that can fully monetize the kind of digit, the kind of editorial effort that's needed in the digital space. So. We put our eggs in lots of baskets, and all those baskets bear some fruit. For us, the effort has been largely in social, so using headlines, et cetera, to, and social promotion to drive stories. One of the things that we have had to get away from is what the expectation of is in print. Print is such a carefully curated, um, elegantly executed product, and we don't have that luxury. We're all still writing for a medium that we're not exactly writing for anymore. So we're still all writing newspaper stories even though we're in the digital space. What would it look like if the journalist's job was not just to write a series of news stories, but to create a persistent news resource that would be updated as often as the story called for? The journalist's responsibility is not just to write these news stories, but to keep that card stack about the news story updated. And it's trying to break with this idea of like, what does it mean to be a journalist in this century? And I think like, we're still only scratching the surface of the way that this new medium can create entirely new ways of storytelling. Sometimes I think there are still things we do just because we used to be a newspaper and because that's the way everyone's always done it that we don't need to do anymore. There's a whole range of different things that, that, that we're trying with, with publishers. And as you say, I mean, the, the, the move to mobile in particular means that people are uh, are going straight to apps, and that's obviously a big challenge for the entire ecosystem. Social is just essential because it's where our girl is. Online, you don't have the luxury of like, you know, compelling your audience to you. You have to go to your audience. I disagree with that really violently, and I think anyone. Oh, good. I think anyone, I who, any, anyone who anyone who adopts that, oh, we've got to we've got to chase the, the audience here, we've got to chase the audience there, as their business model is really really doomed. If people aren't visiting you directly, if they're not visiting your app, if they're not visiting your homepage. You don't have a brand. And I'm not saying social, you shouldn't try and grow your social right. traffic. We spend a lot of time growing our social traffic. Right. Clearly, you know, people who visit us directly have, have longer engagement times. They have a higher frequency of visits. And so they're, they're a more valuable consumer to me than somebody who visits once a month via, by accident via Facebook. The identification and the consumer we get from social is much more devout. They return often. They spend a lot of time with us. I think that, you know, and that time may be in smaller bits than you've described, but it's consistent. There is no one answer. I think for a long time everyone thought, okay, native's going to be the answer, or video's going to be the answer, or mobile's going to be the answer, and you've got to do, you know, these, this is your absolute priority. And I think what we've realized now is there aren't any silver bullets, there aren't any easy answer. You just have to graft away really hard at all of them.